My Weirdest School Book number 5 Miss Daisy is Still Crazy Written by Dan Gutman Pictures by Jim Pilot Chapter 9 This is an emergency Jackie Mackey has the sniffles shouted Mr. Mackey. What? The sniffles? shrieked Miss Daisy. Oh no, not the sniffles. Yes, the sniffles, screamed Mr. Mackey. The two of them started jumping up and down and yelling and screaming and shrieking and hooting and hollering and freaking out. It was hilarious. You should have been there. That means Jackie Mackie has germs, hollered Miss Daisy. Germs have infected her body and they're going to multiply. Wow! I didn't even know that germs could do math. They must be really smart. Jackie Mackie is sick, yelled Mr. Mackie. She could die. What are we going to do? Uh, maybe you should wipe her nose with a tissue, I suggested. No, screamed Miss Daisy. We need to call an ambulance. This is an emergency. It's a matter of life and death. Right, shouted Mr. Mackey. You call the ambulance on your cell phone while I drive to the hospital. We can meet them there. Good plan, honey, hollered Miss Daisy. We have to get out of here. Have a nice day, kids. It was fun teaching you. I'm so glad we bought these hazmat suits, yelled Mr. Mackey. They really came in handy. Then the two of them ran out of the room. Teachers are weird. Mr. Mackey is wacky, and Miss Daisy is still crazy. Nobody said anything for a million hundred seconds. Gee, I hope Jackie Mackey is going to be okay, said Emily, who's always wondering if people are going to be okay. She has the sniffles, said Alexia. Everybody gets the sniffles. Mr. Mackey and Miss Daisy are totally overreacting. My parents did the same thing when my little sister was born. What are we going to do now? asked Andrea. We don't have a teacher. Andrea was right for once in her life. There were no grown-ups in the room at all. Me and Michael and Ryan looked at each other. Then we snapped into action. The three of us got up and shook our butts at the class. Boys, Andrea said, rolling her eyes. I guess Mr. Klutz will have to get another sub for our class said Emily. We're getting sandwiches, I yelled. Yay! No, dumbhead, Andrea said. Mr. Klutz will have to get another substitute teacher. Oh, I knew that. I was going to say something mean to Andrea, but I never got the chance. You'll never believe who ran into the doorway at that moment. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. And you don't even have to read the next chapter. It was Mr. Cooper. Chapter 10 Feet are disgusting. Have no fear, Cooper man is here. Mr. Cooper came running into the room like he was trying to catch a bus. As usual, he chipped over the garbage can, banged into a desk, and went flying into the whiteboard before falling on the floor. 
know, he yelled, my toe. We all ran over to him. Are you okay? Everybody was asking. Of course, Mr. Cooper said as we helped him up. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor foot problems can prevent me from educating the youth of America. We heard about your ingrown toenail, said Andrea. Yes, it was pretty serious, Mr. Cooper told us. I was afraid it was going to grow inside my body until it came out the top of my head. But I used my super healing powers to recover quickly. Can we see your toe? I asked. Sure, Mr. Cooper replied. He rolled up his pants. Then he took off his shoe. Then he took off his sock. Ugh, it was disgusting. Feet are gross, even when you have normal toes. Everybody was gagging. I thought I was gonna throw up. So what did you learn while I was out today? Mr. Cooper asked as he put his sock back on. We didn't learn anything, of course, because Miss Daisy doesn't know anything. I looked at Ryan. Ryan looked at Michael. Michael looked at Neil. Neil looked at Alexia. Alexia looked at Emily. Everybody was looking at each other. Nobody wanted to tell Mr. Cooper that we spent the whole day sitting around eating bonbons. We learned all about clouds, Alexia finally said. And we learned to multiply the number of wheels on a skateboard, said Neil. And we learned about germs, said Michael. Hmm... Come to think of it, we did learn a lot of stuff. Wonderful. Now where's that list of questions I left you? Asked Mr. Cooper. There were some other important things I wanted you to learn today. Nobody wanted to tell Mr. Cooper that Miss Daisy ripped up his list and said it was ridiculous. Oh, I took a picture of your list with my smartphone, Andrea finally said, taking out her phone. We did some research. And what did you find out? Asked Mr. Cooper. Kitty litter was invented by a man named Edlow in 1947, Andrea read from her notes. Jupiter has the most moons. The Statue of Liberty turned green because of chemical reactions between the copper coating and water. Cows have four stomachs. And a footnote is some words at the bottom of a page that explain something above it. Wow, when did Andrea have the time to look all that stuff up? Very good, Andrea, said Mr. Cooper. I'm glad you didn't waste your time while I was away. Oh, I never waste time, Mr. Cooper. Andrea smiled the smile she smiles to let everybody know that she knows something nobody else knows. What is her problem? Fantastic. Mr. Cooper said, clapping his hands. Now let's get back to work. Turn to page 23 in your... But Mr. Cooper didn't have the chance to finish his sentence because at that moment, the most amazing thing in the history of the world happened. Bring, bring. Bring! It was three o'clock. Time for dismissal. Yay! When I got home, my parents asked me what happened at school during the day. Nothing, I replied. 
Any time your parents ask you what happened at school during the day, always say nothing. That's the first rule of being a kid. I sure hope that Jackie Mackey recovers from the sniffles. Maybe the police will start to arrest germs and put them in jail. Maybe a chuck full of smartphones will fall on Andrea's head. Maybe everybody will start wearing hazmat suits to school. Maybe Mr. Cooper's ingrown toenail will come out the top of his head. Maybe we'll get to eat sub sandwiches. Maybe women will make up their mind and stop changing their name for no reason. Maybe the good germs and the bad germs will start a germ war. Maybe babies will stop looking like Winston Churchill. Maybe Miss Daisy will buy skateboards with wheels on them next time. Maybe humanitarians will start to eat humans. Maybe our feet will run and our noses will smell instead of the other way around. Maybe Andrea's eyes will roll out of her head. Maybe I'll sing zip a dee doo da the next time I wash my hands. Maybe eyeballs will start to wear clothing. Maybe I'll move to Antarctica to get away from the germs. Maybe we can talk Mr. Cooper into letting us sit around and eat bonbons for the rest of the school year. But it won't be easy.